We have keys. Are you so excited? Do I get a key? Yes, but not right now. Right now we're just saying we're oh. excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It is officially moving day. It's cold. Um, I've already moved a truckload of stuff and the boyfriend is going to get the truck right now and then or a car i moved a car load of stuff boyfriend's going to get the truck um his friend's supposed to be here in just a little bit the cats are freaking out but we've made a lot of progress like the only stuff that's out here is furniture so that's all that needs to be moved really and then just a few little boxes it's just the stuff that i'm loading in my car right now so yeah things are happening it looks so weird in here with nothing i'm very tired we just like i said got off the flight yesterday and things are already moving on i'm so tired so we have our first casualty this nail right here has broken um like beyond repair i'm not gonna try to fix it but sad my polish is actually staying intact it's really just that nail got hit or something but yeah the truck is almost full the boys are heading over here i'm at the other place right now because i just brought over all of the fridge stuff and I'm still tired <laughs> you guys this is what we are currently left with that is trash that just needs to come down. This is gonna stay here for cleaning and stuff, but we are pretty much done. The cats are freaking out. Um, they're like, what are we doing? But yeah, everything is all emptied out. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so rainy out. Um, I'm leaving for Ikea, I'm so excited. I'm gonna meet my mom and then my little brother and sister there and we are gonna hopefully, oh, get our life together. Um, We're gonna hopefully find most of the stuff I want. I think some of it is already um, out of stock but most of it should still be there, so yay, Ikea. So I wanted to show you guys how my nail polish fared. So I have a couple chips right there um, and then one on my thumb and then I also have I broke this one, I think. I broke, yeah, this one. Um, but I have a few chips on my thumb, and they're super dry just from, like, handling boxes. But I think overall, I mean, two days of moving, this held up pretty well. This is St. Clair KL. This is KL Polish St. Clair. Okay, that was like crazy fast. We're all super hungry, so I just threw a bunch of stuff in the cart. But I will do a haul when um, I'll do a haul when I get home, so you guys can see everything. And I'm at the checkout now. back from the Kia. We have a cat joining us. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get through this pretty quickly because I want to go take a bath. I think that my legs will benefit from that. But I separated everything out into categories so I think I'll just kind of go around. Um, but I got two of their, I'm not gonna try to pronounce these names so I will try to link or list all the names below so you guys can at least look them up on ikea but we have two bathrooms so i got two toilet brush and i got the ones that have the little cover i'll put it together so you guys can see it here in a second so this is what it looks like put together but it just has like a top on it because i hate seeing the toilet brush and then toilet brush. so i got one for each of the bathrooms for that for our bathroom i got this little bin I like that it's not super structured, but this is going to be our trash can because we don't have a lot of room in there, so I like having something that could like kind of bend a little bit. 
bought a new shower liner because the one I got from the dollar store was not big enough. This is for the downstairs bathroom to put some toilet paper on. It's just a paper towel holder, but um, I like these just for a simple, cheap way to put toilet paper in the bathroom. What are you doing up there? What? What are you doing up there? I'm not doing anything. Oh, you heard noise. That was one of the cats no. down here trying to open up cabinets. Oh. Can you stay here for this one? No. I got this cute little jar to put on the bathroom counter with my bath bombs in it. Yeah. Bath yeah. bombs. Last thing for the bathrooms is this trash can that will hopefully go in the downstairs bathroom. I think it'll fit. That was so annoying. But this is the trash can for the downstairs bathroom. Stuff store. I like to have it covered so that the um, people that come over don't have to see all the trash from everybody. <sighs> Moving along, the next room is going to be bedroom stuff. Four sets of these little drawer organizers. Um, dresser drawers will have these in them and then I think I might use them um, one other place but they just come in a set of different sizes and you like fold them open and then you zip the bottoms and then you can mix and match how you put these in your drawers so there's this size it's just so cute and little they look adorable you zip them shut and open and then these are I think it's a set of six yeah a set of six um, so you get two of all of these sizes so let me do the medium one. Oh, this is like a long one so you get two of each in all of these sizes so I got four of those because I have um, a lot of dresser drawers and then also I'll be using them for my boyfriend stuff too. So a lot of these guys. For the closet, I got these little hangers um, for my boyfriend's dress pants. They are only 99 cents, so I felt like that was a really good deal and I knew he needed some better hangers for his pants. Then I got this little blanket for the cats. Um, they have this cabinet that they sit on in our bedroom. And it's ooh, kind of time for them to have a new blanket. So I just got this super simple gray striped one, which I think that they will really like. Got this blanket to go across the little like cheese lounge that I think you guys have already seen at this point. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring a little more darkness to it because most of our bedroom is dark and since that's like a lot lighter I wanted to cover some of it up with a dark blanket to kind of balance it out. So comfy little blanket and I really like these blankets. They're super comfy but they're not hot. Like they're really lightweight. And I got a pillow insert. This is also going on that little cheese lounge so it's like in front of this blanket draped over there will be oh. This pillow, I love Ikea pillows because you can get the insides and then you get like the cover so you can change them and wash them whenever you want to. And I always get the like down feather inserts instead of just the basic ones because I think they're a lot comfier. This is a little pillow cover. I'll probably use my steamer and get some of these wrinkles out, but it's on for right now. I think that's it for the bedroom stuff. This super cute new outdoor mat. Little paw print. Kitchen stuff. So I got these. They're like little file folders. I was thinking that we could put like veggies in them, like potatoes and stuff. To kind of save space, but also um, they don't have to be like uh, confined in like a box or bag or something. So we'll try that. I'll let you know how that goes. Six new kitchen towels. I just went with gray, and these ones have a little tab at the top. 
so that you can like hang them. I think one of my favorite things is these little colanders. They're collapsible. Since you guys know, all I do is eat pasta. And you just pop out, drain it, and then close it to put it down into your cabinet. So cute. So I also got these rails. I'll put up a picture over here so you guys can see. They were out of the little hooks, but I'm going to hang our mugs from these little rails. And um, I'm not going to open these yet since I don't have the hooks. I'm going to wait and see how many rails versus hooks that I'll need, but I thought these were super cute and we're gonna hang it above kind of like and have a little coffee bar, tea bar area. I got another one of these giant things. I have our flour in one, but I needed another one for our sugar. And then I got this little oil set. I don't really care so much about the um, holder, but I liked the bottles. Um, we use oil a lot like in our pans and stuff and the bottles that I got just don't have the best pour spout thing so I thought that this was super cute. I'm trying to get it open for you guys. It's just like a little standard pour bottle, but it came with this little stand. I don't know if we'll actually keep it, but bottles. And then the next kitchen, I think actually the last kitchen thing is this rug. So this is what it looks like. It's just like basic with some little stripes and I think it'd be super cute in the kitchen. The next thing I got is this little three drawer. Um, it's kind of like cardboard, but it's like a covered cardboard, but it's just three drawers to go on my work desk so I can put some of my work stuff in here and not have it all out in the open. I think this is super cute and it was really cheap too. Pretty much the last stuff is just these storage bins. Um, they're kind of going all over the house. <laughs> they're going to go in the linen closet, down in the basement, in the pantry kind of everywhere. Um, I got a lot of different sizes. I got some small little ones, big ones. And then these I got a bunch of because they are kind of open. So I think they'll be good for um, up in the linen closet and also in the pantry. So I can put like some popcorn snacks or any of our snacks in here just to kind of keep them a little more organized. And then the other thing I got are these garment bags. Um, we're going to put our out of season coats downstairs and I wanted to just have a bag over them. So, open these. Other things that I did get, um, and I'll take you upstairs and show you me putting that together probably tomorrow. But I got a desk and a shelf for my um, area. I don't know what we're calling it. Um, he wants to call his basement a study. A study? So, I don't know what to call my room. Because if I call it my office, then people think that's like where I work since I work from home. So, still working on that. Let me know if you have recommendations. But, up there in the little area, um, I got the shelf. So, I got a couple bins to go at the bottom of the shelf. And then, um, I got some table legs to fix one of my tables that needed new legs. And... I'm going to put these little bins together. Mainly everything that I got for my room, I did get this cute little polka dot pillow that I'm going to put on the bed in my room. But other than that, that's it. I will show you guys probably tomorrow me putting together my desk. And I'll have to make another IKEA trip. There was some stuff that was sold out, which is super annoying. But that's it. Hems does not like my pillow. He asked if I got it out of the trash. I did. It looks like it came out of the trash. It looks like it was put to like there's soup water in the bottom, and is made from jeans and like some dirty underwear. That's what it looks like. 
I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. So it's not going to go in the bedroom. It's going to go in my room yeah, now. Yeah, it'll be hers now. That's yours now. Look at him. 